boy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do I have quite the epic video for you guys today. Now, we're actually not using any of the machines today. By the thumbnail and title, you guys know what we're getting into. We're finally doing a hog hunt, but this time we're doing it with spears. Now, I actually ordered some spears from Tim Wells' website. Tim Wells, absolute goat. Dude spears everything. <laughs> The dude's an animal. If you guys haven't seen Tim Wells, go check him out. But I ordered a couple of his spears because I really want a spear pig. As you guys know, we have a huge hog problem down at the hunting lease. And before we go shoot them up with rifles, I want to spear one, baby. Woohoo, <laughs> dude. These things are so badass. Hold on. I just took one of the heads off of the spears. Check this thing out. Let me try to do this without cutting myself. Let's see if I can get this sheath off. Check that sucker out, son. That is one hell of a broadhead. Now, I was actually super impressed when these things came in the mail because they're super sharp. You got about a two and a half inch cut right there. And the spears in general are built very well. They actually came with some practice tips so you can screw on a practice tip and get some practice. I got to throw these things today. I need to see how they are. I already have everything set up to go spear hog down at the hunting land. I moved the feeders. We'll talk about that more once I get down there so I can show you guys. We got to throw the practice tips on. We got to spray paint these things because the chrome is just not it. I also ordered a GoPro Hero Session and I want to mount it to the spear. That way you guys get a first person of the spear flying through the air into the pig. We're just gonna go with the classic camo, black, green, and brown. Let's hang these things up and paint them. I think the best thing to do is just jam them into the ground, paint them like that. Got the black mounted, now onto the green and brown. Green's done, now it's time for brown. Just like that, we got a couple of painted up spears. We're gonna let these things dry. I sent Julius to go grab the skid steer. Once he gets back, we'll set up a target and uh, we'll practice real quick. We got Julius coming with the skidder. It's gonna be my target. Now a pig from up above is not that big. From the side profile, you know, that you're looking at big shoulders, but from up top, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot to hit. So uh, I'm gonna try to hit right here from the top of the skid steer. Here comes the skidder. <laughs> Perfect. Come on. All right, you're good right there. I'm gonna grab a spear. I just want to do it so bad. All right. Hey, put it on self level. Bro, that self level really works. You're actually kind of high. 13, 15 feet. Yeah, you think? Oh, bro, all day. I definitely uh, got to put some more ump behind it. All right, you ready? I'll put some ump behind this one. It would definitely go in the pig, but yeah. all the way through, I don't know. You got to really launch it this time. Bro, this is going to be so badass. All right, I'm going to send it. That might would go through a big, yeah. I think it's gonna work. Like, I can hit that target, no problem. Get it, Christian. Here, hop on. Up, Julius, up. So this is gonna be uh, <laughs> quite quite the adventure. I've, you know, I've always really wanted to spear something. And, you know, I've watched all of Tim Wells' videos of him, him spearing stuff. And you know, it's always super cool, but it's not like I can do that on a whitetail. That's rough. That'd be hard. But a pig, we can make it happen. Ready? Holy crap, we are high. Yeah, we're pretty far up here, oh buddy. Oh my God, dude. The deer stand's definitely gonna be higher. All right, let's send it. I'm gonna send it hard. Oh, bro. It is game over. I've almost been in the kill zone every time. I've hit brown every time. This is going to be great. Woo! Yeah, buddy. This is it. A little launchy poo? Bro. Oh, that ain't going to work. Oh, <laughs> I bit the spear. It's like a banana. I think it's supposed to be thrown straight down. We can use this one as the practice spear. Don't run over my... Hey, don't make me spear you, boy. This is going to be so sick. <laughs> that was a hole. It's shaving hairs. That's sharp. Go ahead and throw this one on the good spear. Dude, he do not want to get hit by that. I hope the GoPro doesn't mess up how it throws. We're going to mount that GoPro right there. Just electrical tape the shit out of it. All right, that spear right there is going to kill a pig. I feel like if you kill kill any kind of animal with a spear, you got kind of got bragging rights. You, you use a compound? <laughs> I use a spear. We got our spears ready to go. Let's throw these suckers in the truck and get loaded up.
made it down to the deer club. Finally. And we actually picked up Julius. Yo. You ready to go watch a hog get speared or what? Oh, yeah. Are you being the cameraman for this hog hunt yet again? No, Garrett is. Where's Garrett? Garrett! What? Are you being the cameraman for this hog hunt? No, Julius is. Julius, buddy, you're the cameraman for this hog hunt! But anyway, we picked up the clowns. Uh, it is time to uh, get the defender off the trailer, and uh, hopefully we uh, spear a hog tonight. It is about 3 o'clock. I think we got great odds of the hogs coming in around 4.30 to 5.30, and uh, we definitely should smoke one. Once we get to the stand, I want to show you guys how I got it set up. I basically put the feeder right under the stand and then brushed up where I didn't want the hogs to be at, so they're going to be right in my kill zone. Garrett, big dog. What's up? What do you think is going to happen tonight? Uh, well, if you you miss i'm not gonna so <laughs> you better hit one after throwing the spear from the top of the skid steer i think uh we shouldn't have any trouble hitting a pig it's just a matter if the pigs are gonna come in and stand right where i need them to so let's go ahead get the defender off the trailer let's go get in the stand baby oh man we're taking the defender up the trail now hey there's the graveyard check it out it should be an absolute amazing hunt i'm freaking stoked we're gonna have the boys sitting about 40 yards from the tree on the ground getting some footage from there and then i'll have a bunch of cameras up in the tree with me i just checked the cameras the hogs are not currently in there so that is good well let's go ahead throw this sucker in park get on all our gear and uh sneak down there baby all right boys we got on all our gear let's get the killing machines out <laughs> Bro, we're headed into the stand with spears how freaking wild i got the pistol just in case we all got a handgun on us right yeah just in case. Since I put a little bit of a bend in that spear, we're gonna be using this one, but I went ahead and electrical taped the camera on here. I think that should work pretty good. I think it'll be solid. Nice little spear cam, bro. It's gonna be sick. I really don't think it's coming off. It's pretty freaking solid. As long as it gets hit in the pig, and then we can find it. That's what, that's what's gotta happen. But we got everything. Hey man, I like that uh, chest holster you got. Thanks. Very not chesty. Chesty. We're gonna go ahead, sneak down in here. I'm gonna put you guys in the filming spot across the way where you hopefully won't mess nothing up. And uh, I'm gonna climb up in the tree, get all the camera set up. Should be solid. Let's get down there. Walking into the stand with two big pieces of metal with, you know, airheads on the end. Yeah. And no big guns. <laughs> It'd be super weird if we were walking in without even handguns. Yeah, that no. would be weird. Couldn't be me. <laughs> this should be good though. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Coming up to where we can see the feeder. I don't see any pigs, but even if they were there, it'd be a long toss. <laughs> so Julius is going to be on the camera, or one of y'all is going to be on the camera. Someone get a Snapchat of this shit. All right, I'm going to sit you two right here. I already cleared out a spot. All the leaps are gone. 30 yards from where I'm going to be spearing a hog. You put the feeder right yeah. under that thing. Yeah. It couldn't be any closer. <laughs> Dude, look at that view. This honestly might be one of the coolest. I know we do a lot of cool kind of cool hunting, but this might be some of the coolest footage we capture. This is going to be epic. I'm going to go hop in the tree before these hogs show up. You boys got it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. You ready? Play some Uno. All right, boys, we have made it into the stand. I got everything set up. I got one, two, three, four, five. Five cameras that I'm manning myself out of this one tree. So when I hear these pigs, I gotta get five cameras ready. All five turned on from all the way up there to all the way down here. This is gonna be hard. And then I gotta get them literally under my feet to spear them. This is gonna be no joke. If I can pull this off, this is gonna be insane. I mean, we'll literally have six cameras covering this hog get speared, counting them boys down there. Seven if you count the Snapchat, I know they're gonna take. Let me show you guys the setup. I got the feeder literally right here. That's about three feet. That is literally one yard from the tree I'm sitting in. And I can lean over my stand and get right above them. We got the spear sitting right here ready to go. That camera ready to go. That one, that one, this one, them boys. Even gonna have a camera on my head, so this should be fun. Hopefully I hear the pigs before they get in here so I can get all this set up, but... Dude, if we pull this off, it's weird sitting here thinking that I'm a spear, spear a pig. You boys ready? Yeah. Let's do this. These hogs, we've came in here and hunted them quite a few times already, but it's always been with guns or bows. I have a feeling they're starting to get a little pressured. I moved everything around two nights ago, and then last night they were right where I needed them to be. Check this out. Look at them, just stuffed under the feeder. That was yesterday evening, and that was the first time they ate under the deer stand, but uh, I think we got great odds. I've yet to go on a hog hunt and not shoot a pig, so, you know, I just gotta keep stepping it up. Went from guns to bows, now spears. I guess a slingshot or a blowgun's next. I don't know. We've been in the stand for a couple hours now. Ain't seen nothing, ain't heard nothing. 
they're coming in tonight, but it's getting about that time for them to show up. I'm hoping they come soon, because it's getting cold. Well, we just had a big pig circle back behind us. I don't know if I got him on camera or not. Dude, that got me going. I was I, I was jacked. I was shaking a bit, bro. I wasn't expecting that, but man, the idea of sparing one two yards from your tree. Pretty wild stuff. Big anyway, he kind of went on down the hill. He'll be back. I don't know if he got downwind when I first seen him. He was downwind, but he circled around us. I'm pretty sure he'll come back in. They're coming. Yep, they're coming. Yep, I see them. See the piglets. They won't wind us from where they're coming. Watch him, watch him, watch him. He ain't going far. Yeah, baby. Dude, that thing was coming straight for us. Oh my gosh, I just speared a fucking pig. Woo! That was the biggest one too. Oh, that thing was giant. J Julius, is Julius chasing him? Oh my gosh. Julius just ran after that pig's chasing him. He, that pig was about to run y'all over. It finally came together for four hours of sitting here, freezing my ass off. Please tell me this GoPro was on because I don't remember turning it off. <laughs> so I had to throw it off the left and I had all the cameras set up right here, but that was insane. Bro! Let's go! That had me tore up, bro. That's like shooting a 150 inch deer right there, son. Holy cow. Is Julie still running after that pig? That hog's definitely dead because the whole spear, the whole head went into him. I could see the blood gushing out of him. Holy crap. All right, I got to get out of the stand. Julius is whistling. All right, just watch him. We'll be down there in a minute. He's saying it's still alive. Let's go ahead and toss this spear down there. I'm shook up, boys. I'm shook up. That was the coolest thing I've ever done. Holy cow. It wasn't filmed as good as I wanted it to be because they didn't, they, he didn't come, those pig, the big pigs didn't come where I needed them to. The little pigs did, but uh, I got it on the GoPro, got it on spear cam, got it on the Sony. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Boys, let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. Julian, they, they, dude, he was on a dead straight run for y'all. Did you stay here filming on Snapchat when he was running at you? Yes, <laughs> Let's go. Let, let me get out of this tree. Oh, so Julius, you you ran him down yeah, after bro. he about ran you over? <laughs> bro, after he about ran you over, you tried to run him over. Yeah. So my thing, I didn't know how well it hit him, so I was like, the last one Braden shot with a bow, we lost. Braden stuck him good, and we tracked him for forever, and it's yeah. almost dark, because I was not letting that motherfucker run. <laughs> bro, I seen him, I was like, he's a dead pig. And I seen Julius taking off after him, like, <laughs> he's double dead. <laughs> bro, he was coming right towards me and Gary. Bro, he was on a dead, but please tell me that's on camera. I it hope is, so. It's He dead sprinted 20 yards to y'all and yeah, then turned at the last 10. Holy shit. Step back on. He's coming right at you! 
no shot! No shot! Fucking hell yeah, dude! No way! Yeah, hey. I didn't even realize he was that close! Bro, he, Bro, was, he was five yards! I know! He was <laughs> hey, there's the spear! Yep, yeah, he has where he ran. Ah, uh, the GoPro's still recording? Yep, GoPro's still going. Is there blood on the screen? No, there's not blood Bro, on it. Got, Bro, look at blood. that. Yeah, you got penetration. Yeah, that's great there. penetration. That's a, that's a piece of meat! Oh my dude! <laughs> what is that? That's Lung? Liver? What is that? I think it's like his fucking. I think it's just his back meat. What? Bro, More meat? Holy no freaking way, bro. Look, that's where y'all were sitting. Look, there's blood right here. There's blood there's right blood. here. Right Look here. at the blood. <laughs> bro, like, he was about to run straight bro, into Bro, I it. can't believe he came that close to y'all. Yeah. Four yards. Yeah, all day. No um, way. That's why, I had 12 feet. Feet. that's why I had my gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the spear. I can kill another pig with it. Still straight? Pretty straight. There's a tad. I mean, he smacked it into a tree, but that I was expecting it to be bent in half. A little bit of a slight bend right there but i'd still throw it as another pig right now no oh, all right i guess i can turn this camera off yeah right <laughs> the camera that freaking smoke i didn't have him on the other cameras but that camera's got it my gopro right here's got it and this camera's got it that's but, gonna, uh, i'm gonna be really interested dude, to see that one this footage is gonna be crazy yeah. probably gonna be able to show it on video should we just take up the trail yeah let's get find it. our piggy let's get it i don't know if i'll come out here and try to do it again but I wanted to do it once. I needed, I wanted to kill a animal with a spear. I'm gonna try to get him skull mounted. Julius took off after him like a dog, son. Oh, I thought he was about to grab him by the ears. Julius is like a gazelle running through the woods. We don't even have good light to see the ground, but he's pouring. Who needs rage broadheads when you can just throw this thing? Blood all over the log. Look at this. Straight carnage all the way over to here. I ran and got up on this rock and he was running this way. So I followed him and jumped down here. He's just right over the edge of that hill. No shot. Yeah, so. Didn't go 20. Well, he actually did go more 20. He went about 40 or 50. Is he right on the other side of the hill? Take a step up on this final rock. <laughs> the final rock, huh? Uh, the pig's gone. Oh shit. Quality. Almost like I said, you should have hurried. So I, he was laying on the ground right here when he got here and yeah, now he's I, gone? I was standing here looking at him and I was like, yep, he's uh, he's there. Uh, Brayden should come stick him again. I was standing right here about to fucking shoot him. Wait, you had your pistol and you didn't finish him? I, well, he's bleeding like a stuck pig. Let's follow the stuck pig. We're gonna find this pig. I mean, that kind of penetration through between his shoulders. Silly, he's over here, dude. He's dead right there. He took us to the wrong, the wrong rock. Right, I'm, wait a minute, Oh guys. shit, he's still alive. All right. Oh shit. Dead pig, baby. These pigs are tougher than shit. It about went through and through, looking at the size of his chest right between his upper shoulders. Yeah, Buddy's about to get up and start running again. It's been 15 minutes, and we came back. He about got up, so I stuck a spear in him. He fell to the ground and, you know, had to finish him with a pistol. But, man, pigs are tough. Golly, that pig's big. Look at his shoulders. He's got some cutters on him. Holy cow. Spear of hog, son. Oh, Y'all yeah. about got ran over. I was this close to putting one in his head and watching him. Well, from from up in the stand, I was like, wow, that was close. But I was thinking, you know, 10, 12 yards. That no, son of a gun like, was at four or five yards. He was on top of us. It's going to be hard getting this joker out of here. We'll go get the defender and try to winch him up out of this uh, this valley. Get him in the back and uh, I guess then look at the damages, get some pictures. <sighs> Freaking crazy, man. Speared a hog. I speared him twice. <laughs> yeah. But that second throw hit him in the hind legs. Had to finish him off with a pistol. What a hunt, son. What a freaking hunt. I've done a lot of cool shit, but that by far I think was the coolest. That was dope. I'm so glad he almost ran y'all over. <laughs> yeah. I'm Holy glad cow. He that was crazy. We're going to go get this pig. Probably just pick you guys up when we get him in the bed of the defender because uh, it's going to take all three of us getting him up that hill. Fuck, we done put ourselves into bad situations. This thing's about to roll over. No, 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 no. There was no we. There was no. no I got work. a rat in my pocket. Y'all said I was doing all the dragging, so I made sure I dragged downhill. Oh. I just don't know how we're going to drag the defender out of here now. Well, my place is, That's what a the hell big pig. What a perfect throw. I'm going to cover it up for you two, but it's right there. Right here's the shoulder line. Absolutely smoked okay. with a spear, baby. Now i got to figure out how to get the defender out. All right, boys, we made it back to the deer club. We're going to go ahead and load up. We're going to get out of here faster and quick. Faster than quick, baby. <laughs> faster and quick. How, how often do you spear a hog? First one, probably going to get them skull mounted or something cool. But uh, we're going to get it on the trailer, get the hell out of here, and I'm going to pick up the camera whenever we guys can show you the hog. Woo. Oh, boy. Woo-hoo. Ooh, man, we just got home. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead, get this hog out of the defender, get it propped up for pictures, clean off all the blood, and I think I'm just gonna pick you guys up in the morning because uh, we're all tired. We got a lot of cameras and stuff to get footage downloaded, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna 
pick y'all up in the morning. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, it is actually the next day. I let the hogs sit overnight. It got down to like 30, 40 degrees last night. So not the best, but the hogs only getting used for half dog food, half coyote bait for a video coming up, which will be super sick. But I actually washed off the hog last night. So here she is, boys. That is a big pig. But one of the things I want to do with this pig while I got it out here is I want to weigh them because uh, I've never weighed one of these pigs. We got a huge pig problem. There's a shh shitload i mean a crap load of pigs down there they literally came this year they started taking over the land you guys heard me preach about this already they came out of nowhere and now they're just multiplying like pigs i heard they breed like four times a year and then they, you know they have anywhere from six to twelve piglets a litter do the math if you got ten pigs <clears throat> it's pretty freaking crazy dude we started this year with four and now we got 14 i was actually really impressed with the spear because uh it, it did a number on that pig and throwing it was not near as hard as i thought when i was about to throw that spear i was looking down at this pig and i was like that's a long ways down like there's no way i'm gonna hit him he's as perfect as the pig's gonna get it's the perfect shot right now if i'm not gonna take it i'm not even gonna throw the spear so i went ahead and yeeted it down there son and i absolutely smoked him come look where i hit him right freaking there absolutely hammered him couldn't have placed it better. I think the spear actually drove up about, let's see, probably about that deep. So if you could imagine, <laughs> it did a number on him. That is for sure. Spear held up pretty good. Tim Wells, buddy, shout out to you. Uh, I mean, you got a little bit of a bend in your spear, but uh, for just a spear, you can order online and just straight take it to the woods and kill a hog. Razor sharp, man. I won't be preaching to you guys if I didn't like the spear. It's a three-piece takedown. You can interchange the heads. The only problem is getting bends in it when after you spear a pig or... You know, you throw it like an idiot sideways and, you know, it, it bends a little. If they were a little cheaper, I would literally put one in every stand I got and just leave it there. And if a deer walked under you during deer season, you just drop that son of a gun on it. Super happy with the spears. I don't know how much more spear hunting I'm going to do. I might try to kill a whitetail with one. That's going to be hard. We did this in first try. Spear to pig, first try. Took like four hours to sit in the stand. I was kind of expecting it only take an hour, but I'm telling you, you just got to know your animals. You got to know what they're doing. They came in late, but I knew they were coming. Let's go ahead and drop this pig down. I want to hook it up on the scale. I actually got a brand new scale I have not got to use yet because I don't want to leave it down at the hunting land where we would use it because then it'd just go, you know, go missing or something. Let's drop this hog down. What are your guesses? Mm, 135. 135? Yeah. I picked up some of these pigs and they're about that size and they would weigh 250 pounds. Like no this. way. Just you couldn't even move them, bro. Like I tried to get a pig like this in the bed of my truck by myself. I about couldn't do it. But mm. I can pick up an 880 pound deer in the back of the truck. Easy. This was almost impossible. They're very heavy for their size. So I think that's going to surprise me. But I also think that they're so short and stocky, you think they're heavier than they are. Mm. Because, you know, a deer, you can get his get his head up on the truck bed and then drag them yeah. in where this is all at once. Pigs, I have come to figure out they are the toughest animal I've ever hunted. I mean, they are just rock hard. They're all muscle. Get them winched up. See that scale moving. I've never weighed a pig before. This should be interesting. All the way off the ground he is 150 seven pounds i mean that is all muscle weight right there these hogs i've seen them get up to like 400 pounds not not around me you really just gotta keep feeding them yeah hey, let's just call him 160 he's right there holy cow that's a big pig i want to shoot like a 400 pound pig though that'd be <laughs> stupid spear 400 pound pig <laughs> like a cow dude just, whoo, you'd have to really chuck that spear son he weighs the same weight as an average buck around here yeah, average deer average buck well boys i'm gonna go ahead and close off this video now this video wasn't too graphic i'm thinking about posting all like the graphic stuff on the uh second channel or making another channel to where if it got deleted it's not a big deal anyway i'll have that link down in the description i'll have these spears linked down in the description as well tim wells did not send me these spears tim if you're watching this buddy let's get on a hunt let's go let's go slock some shit that was an experience it was a hell of a ride chucking a freaking bar of metal at a pig and then Dicking them. If you've never done it and you have the opportunity to, I highly recommend it. It is definitely another kind of rush. It's just a pig, but it's different when you're throwing, when you're literally throwing, I don't know, a five pound spear at them. Absolutely sick. You guys enjoy this video and want to see me spear another pig? Let me know down in the comments. These videos get demonetized, so if you would, I have the website linked. If you guys want to check out some merchandise and help a brother out, I love doing the hunting videos. They are like what I'd strive for, dude. The challenge of it is so much fun. And I absolutely love it. I'm never going to quit bringing y'all hunting content, but uh, YouTube keeps demonetizing them and then and it hurts the views so uh, share the video around guys if you would like subscribe we'll catch y'all on the next one
I'm, Holy shit! I'm out, I'm out, Cap.